are about 15 or so miles northwest of world famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today it's week four and we've got what should be a great one here as it'll be the Aviators of Paris taking on the Miami Dolphins. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And a signal there for the fair catch, so this opening drive will begin at the 25-yard line. the 35 that's a gain of 13 and a very solid opening play for this offense this running game so important for them and they know that it helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards let's face it it's their identity and that's what they want to play to they want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening yeah, give him four yards there it'll be second and six you talk about this Miami defense they were terrific last week against Buffalo in that victory. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, do you now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try and run it like crazy? Or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. Second and six. Back to throw. Porter looking for his running back, and he's got it. Taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. This defense for the Dolphins, they were terrific last week in the victory over Buffalo. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. and goal and he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5 so that run gets him about halfway home yes yeah, now second and goal the end zone beckons it looms they can do whatever they want full playbook run it again or they can go play action and try and put it in that way and the ball smack dab on the 5 yard line here's second and goal Now, here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Aviators get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Start this drive out on the ground. Breaks a tackle. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. 
Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit whoa, whoa, whoa. after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. <laughs> and they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was. And now it's third down. They complete it to him. And this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. Murray and company going for it on fourth. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run. Here's Devon A. Chan. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The Dolphins are one and two through the first three weeks of the season. And they got off to the tough 0-2 start, but come off a very important first win of the season last time out. And it's tough when you find yourself in an early season crossroads, but that's exactly where they were. At 0-2, they were thinking, if we fall to 0-3, things can spin out of control. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Dolphins respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Extra point forthcoming. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. They'll give him four yards there. And that'll make it third and 13. You talk about this Miami defense. Well, they were terrific last week against Buffalo in that victory. I don't know what the actual percentages are. I don't know the analytics on when you create five turnovers or takeaways in a game. But coaches have always told me, when you create a number that high, your chances of winning, probably up over 98%. These two teams all tied after one. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And that will be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we just talk about the defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. 
So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Call that a 45-yard punt, just two yards there on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The problem was a proper defensive back. I'm not much of a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and in inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Throwing on first down is Murray. Throw right side, caught by Goddard at the tight end. Doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash, dropped at the one. The end result, 21 yards. They'll try to run this one in, and he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. A great effort there. His third rushing touchdown of the year, and the Dolphins have taken the lead. Extra point attempt to follow here. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Go! 
Second and six, just inside the 30. takes it inside the 40. 68 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. Here's a quick throw caught out wide. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. The gain of seven brings up second and three at the Dolphins' 32-yard line. in the backfield he'll get the carry touchdown a great play there his second touchdown on the season and the aviators are an extra point away from evening this one up extra point right down the middle and we are tied at 14 This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Now A-Chan on first and ten. And some space here. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five <laughs> cents, five DBs. But what also happens then, you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Ooh. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal in motion hill. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And he will score. Touchdown. Six yards away. And the Dolphins have broken our tie as they take the lead. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Hey. 
The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Let's go now. On first and 10, Porter. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. Got a man that's caught at the six-yard line. And all the way in for the touchdown. A big play there. 55 yards. And the Aviators are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. A try here for the extra point. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Play action. Now it's Murray. Steps away to his left. That is caught. It's the tight end got him. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. So the illegal forward pass also costs him a down, and now it's second and long. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Here's Murray. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A run straight ahead with H. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this one is right down Broadway. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. Breaks through the contact. 
And all in all, pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. On second down, they'll run it here. And he's got some space here. He may go. And he'll take this into the end zone for the Dolphins touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point splits the uprights. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Looking to throw, Porter. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw. Porter. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Porter into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. After the turnover, here's Murray. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Hachim. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down, and finish this one off. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. Now Murray. Finds Hill on the crossing round complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an 
Eyelash dropped it to one. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I think he had to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. A great play there. His third touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to get their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. will get out of bounds so possession will stay the same can almost see inside his face mask there the look of relief he coughed it up but it goes out of bounds they keep it someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe aren't they if i were him i'd go out and play the lottery after that one a very fortunate man and they're operating in plus territory here they're thinking points definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture and a good push up front and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 135 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to get it back here just past the 35. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to full. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. That's still down quite a bit here. Several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And, look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. They're throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Well, defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. And this is caught at the eight. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. A really nice gain of 25 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Aviators take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is trimmed down to ten. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. It's a 7-yard carry to set them up with a 2nd and 3. A give, running 
right, Achan. Room here to run. Down the right sideline. He's on his way. And he will take it in for the Dolphins touchdown. Devon Achan, 76 yards. And the Dolphins get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. try forthcoming and that'll make this a three score game as the lead moves to 17 now after the touchdown here's Butker on to kick it away And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they looked up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Ready, ready. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch in. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. That one a 14-yard play, and it keeps this drive moving. in the backfield he'll get the carry and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line two yards the loss second and 12 an interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra dbs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense i thought they were going to switch out of it i didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was well in any event the extra speed allowed for great and he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far picked off by cam smith and the dolphins are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24 yard line the dolphins take over Ooh, the, dolphins. the dolphins at the line ready for their next drive and after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice.
nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. 11 yards for number 11. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Flushed out right. He completes it to Hunter. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Second down, Murray sets to throw. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Partner, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead. Just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one, though, falls incomplete. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Hey, hey, hey. What you got? Here's Murray. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. On fourth down, here's the option. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. So after the fourth down conversion, now first and 10 inside the 25. Throwing now is Murray. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit. And they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display. And now they look to polish it off. This will be caught. It's Waddle. Touchdown, Dolphins. Jalen Waddle, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Dolphins are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can—you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers 
you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. as he can only get this to the 30. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Let's go. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need. And that's exactly what they got done. Go! So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 172 yards for him on the ground now on that, his 20th carry of the ball game. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? On first down, Porter. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. The Dolphins take over first down down at the 45-yard line. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Dolphins, it'll be a 500 start as the win gets them back to 2-2. Two and two. And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for Paris, they also will exit this one at 2-2. Two and two. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.